moment I was shovel logging with a 25 ton excavator and crab grab on the front of it. But when I first started, I started out on the processor, just sitting on the land and barking logs, then gradually got into the fella bunch of side of things, then the skidder, and then up the bush shoveling logs, putting in side cuts and stuff like that. The best thing about this industry is it gives you so many other doors to open. When I first started, I thought, oh no, of the first 12 months I was in, this is all I'm going to do, but you could become a uh, supervisor, working for guns, you could go to Sweden to drive machines, you could, there's so many things, that, other things that you can do, but my five year plan will still be here, I reckon, still working for Andrew, and hopefully down the track, buy a few machines and go out myself. In this industry, if you can get a contract for five years, you can nearly clear your debts or pay your machines off in them five years. A lot of the people that will get into it um, have got fathers that do it. They're pretty much, they'll uh, lose their way into it because if you buy it, go out $4.4 million in debt and then two days later you have a $60,000 breakdown, you can't just pull that sort of money out of your back pocket. You've got nothing to pull back. You want to become a contractor. Hope will go ahead, should we all go, but yeah, until that gets finalised, we don't know really where we stand. It has to go ahead for this industry to survive down here, it just has to, but people say, oh, they're buying all this land and putting in these trees and that, they're going to have to, it's going to go ahead, but they could send a boat over here and ship it and send it to Victoria if they wanted to build it there, they can do it just like that, but it's just got to go ahead, I reckon. But for me to stick around in this industry, it will anyway. That's just cool. The Indonesian government had 100,000 hectares of land to be logged. And so they jumped in those choppers and went to fly over it to see what sort of species and that way they were going to get. Flew up over it, went 100 metres and the whole thing had been logged completely logged under their eyes. The, the poachers had come in and, and took where they would out to the sea and that forest was never going to grow again. Like the way that they've left it, they just cleared the land. It's not sustainable. When you see forest, Tasmania and guns and people like that actually managing their forest properly, you think to yourself, well, what are they kicking up to think about? At least we're here trying to do something for the environment.